well did you know the story of Thanksgiving? Happy Thanksgiving, everybody! It's Thanksgiving, which means that we eat things and be thankful. Unless you don't live in the US, then you maybe eat other things. How well do I know the story of Thanksgiving? That's what we're going to find out today. I am on my favorite website of all time, Clickhole. And we're gonna be taking some quizzes today about Thanksgiving. So, without further ado, let's do it. You may love gobbling up turkey, but how much do you really know about the story behind Thanksgiving? Take this quiz to find out. Let's do it. Why did the pilgrims leave Europe for the new world? To escape the fire pope. They won North America in a bet and wanted to collect. They just woke up on the boat. Or to move closer to the fire pope. I know it has to do with the fire pope for sure. I'm pretty sure they were trying to escape. Ah, oh, wrong. The pilgrims woke up on the Mayflower when it was already halfway across the Atlantic. They had no memory of how they got there or who put them in those pilgrim clothes. Who built Plymouth Rock and with what? Christopher Columbus using bricks, Druids using sticks, the Vikings using Viking helmets, or Frank Plymouth using, using the bones of his own arm. Well, it was obviously that. I was wrong. Plymouth Rock was actually constructed by Vikings, led by Leif Erikson, who built the rock entirely of their own helmets. The more you know, guys. Incredible. Which pilgrim ruined all the food and put the colony at grave risk of starvation? Aaron, Greg, Sheila, or Avery? I think it was Greg, right? Oh, uh, Aaron was the idiot who left the food out. God, uh, my memory of Thanksgiving, everything I learned in school. So going out the drain. How were the Native Americans summoned? An ornate silver gravy boat, a plain brass gravy boat, a child's wish, or knocking three times on the sacred tree. I believe it was child's wish. Ah oh, shit. They were rubbing by the they were summoned by the rubbing by rubbing this ugh. the Native Americans were summoned by rubbing the seemingly ordinary gra brass gravy boat found buried under the sacred tree, teaching the pilgrims not to judge something by its appearance, for wonder can be found anywhere. Wow. Number five. What did the Americans bring to the Thanksgiving feast? Food, napkins, sodas, or all of the above? They brought some soda pop, didn't they? It was all of the above! Damn it! The Native Americans brought all the food, napkins, and sodas. The only things the pilgrims contributed were the disposable plates and utensils. Shit, that's right. My Thanksgiving memory, guys. My Thanksgiving memory. How thankful were the pilgrims? Pretty thankful, extremely thankful, somewhat thankful, just normal thankful. Damn, they were pretty thankful. <laughs> Definitely thankful enough without overdoing it. Why do we eat turkey during Thanksgiving? Turkey were considered disgusting vermin by the Native Americans and they tricked the pilgrims into eating them for fun. The pilgrims believed that all animals had souls except turkeys, making them the only meat God allowed them to eat. The pilgrims actually consumed beef at their feast. The addition of turkey to the Thanksgiving ceremony is relatively recent tradition, invented by the turkey industry to increase fourth quarter sales. <laughs> Airborne chemicals released by, de uh, by decomposing leaves are a natural antidote to the turkey's poison, making late November the only time the birds can be eaten without risk of death. I think it's the pilgrim believe that all animals had souls except for turkey. Shit. Wrong. Telling families to eat a whole turkey was a brilliant ad campaign thought up by a copywriter at Doyle Dane Burbatch in 1957. No turkey, no thanks. Is held up as one of the finest slogans ever produced by Madison Avenue. Oh my fucking god. Who writes these? <laughs> when will the pilgrims return? In times of great need? When the planets align? Their ways are mysterious. When they are truly thankful. Their ways are mysterious. Shit. They will always return in times of great need to help America. Often this happens when we are least thankful, so they can guide us back to thankfulness. God. What was the original name of Thanksgiving? The Big Thank. Pilgrim Fest. Food Christmas. <laughs> Ultimate thanks. Food Christmas. Correct! The pilgrims and Native Americans called it Food Christmas, <laughs> which is still the holiday's official name. You are barely thankful! You know almost nothing about Thanksgiving. You can't even sing the theme song. If we didn't know better, we'd guess you were the you were fire pope in disguise because he's the only one who doesn't give thanks. Damn, guys. What if I am fire pope? How many of these Thanksgiving traditions do you do with your family? All right, let's do another quiz. How do you do Turkey Day? Huh? How do you? Let me know in the comments below. How many of these Thanksgiving traditions do you and your family observe? Going around the table and sharing one fact you know about cars. <laughs> Everyone silently pointing at the oven for 15 minutes. One normal prayer before dinner and then one silly prayer. <laughs> Let 
letting Grandma run over the turkey with her electric wheelchair, transferring her sins to gourds, determining who's outdone themselves, calling your mom and dad Pilgrima and Pilgrimo, refeathering the turkey, tambourine hour, waiting in the driveway to see if a Dodge Viper goes by, setting off the brown fireworks, <laughs> knowing about pumpkin pie, reading everyone's futures in the giblets, ending grace with can't live with them, can't live without them. The cranberry shuffle, drowning a cr cricket in a mug of cider and then leaving the mug on the front porch. <laughs> Shaking marshmallows out of your grandfather's beard into the yams. Mailing $10 to the IRA or waiting until everyone's gone to whisper hell of a spread. Well, we definitely do that one for sure. Uh, shit, what else do we do? We, d we do do the going around the table sharing one fact you know about cars. I know this is a classic every year. I know that w antifreeze is good tasting. You shouldn't eat it all the time, but every once in a while, a little lick won't do you any harm. We pretty much only do silly prayers at my house. I don't know, it's just, you know. Usually we do two two silly prayers. Tambourine hour is the last hour of Thanksgiving at, at my house. My dad breaks out the uh, the golden tambourine, tambourine that's been handed down generation to generation. You know, my father played the golden tambourine, his father before him, and his father before him, so on, so on, so on. Someday, if I'm lucky, I will get to play the golden tambourine during tambourine hour. I really hope so. You know, I uh, my, my father, Doubts my ability to play the golden tambourine, but I I want to show him someday that I'm up to the task. You know that I've got the heart to do it. You know it's not all about the skill. In in fact, very little of it. Uh, setting off the brown fireworks, a classic, a classic. My all my brother always does them off the top of the roof. My mother gets so upset. She goes, Andrew, 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 get off the roof. You know, if you're gonna set them off, set them off in the driveway, so then it doesn't set the roof on fire, doesn't set the grass on fire. But he says, Mom, <laughs> fuck off. Knowing about a pumpkin pie is also something that we do. It's not about pumpkin pie in general. It's about a specific pumpkin pie. We've kept a pumpkin pie in my family. I think that pie is from 2002. It's starting to have a certain scent. I can't quite describe it. The only way that I that I could describe it was the death of Yoda when he falls away in into his into his into his robes. It's similar to what the robes must have smelt like. Andy Grace with can't live with him, can't w live without him. We do do that. Although we only do silly, uh, silly prayers, we do end it with that. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much all of them. You know, we're not a huge Thanksgiving family. We're more of a Christmas family. But, you know, food Christmas is important. It is a fun time of the year. But, you know, we, we do very few of the, we're not a super traditional family. You know, we, we just kind of have a normal Thanksgiving. We don't do all of the, uh, all of the traditions. But, you know, we do a few of them, so. You do some Thanksgiving traditions. There we go. Pretty good. You are a normal person who does a normal amount of things on Thanksgiving to honor the ancient pilgrims who conquered America and died before industry was invented. You're probably an interesting person in other ways, but when it comes to the all-important category of number of traditions performed with a family on Thanksgiving, you're just okay. Very middle of the road. Thank you for spending your time clicking on the boxes. Thank you so much for spending the time to make the box. Uh, this isn't a, um, a quiz. This is more of a, a sort of a, a lifestyle article. Seven patches you'll want on your Thanksgiving dream coat. I've been looking for new patches for my dream coat. So, you know, this will be good. Everyone has a Thanksgiving dream coat, but what patches do you need to get on your coat this year? The bravery patch, of course. Can you imagine how proud your family would be to see you sporting the bravery patch on your Thanksgiving dream coat? There are a few patches as sought after as this one. For wearing it, you will be permitted three honks on the Thanksgiving horn and an extra helping of juice. Just the skin, please, patch. I only like the skin. Are you the one in your family who only likes to eat the turkey skin and nothing else, then you've gotta have just the skin please patch. People will see your patch and know to heap mounds and mounds of slippery turkey skin on your plate because you just can't get enough of that savory skin. 
<laughs> That's me. I do have a just the skin please patch. The Philip C. Glenwood Memorial Patch for good Thanksgiving behavior. Philip C. Glenwood made his history with his record for best behavior at the most consecutive Thanksgivings. By wearing his this patch, you'll honor his memory and also imply that you too will be well behaved this Thanksgiving. This is both a great privilege and a great responsibility. Keep that in mind if you choose to don the Philip C. Glenwood Memorial Patch for Thanksgiving for good Thanksgiving behavior. Marksmanship patch classic as well if you can hit all three targets within 30 seconds you'll earn yourself the marksmanship patch <laughs> all three targets yeah the thanksgiving targets no one steals thanksgiving food from someone with a marksmanship patch on their thanksgiving dream coat no one in their right mind at least <laughs> the misfits patch ah you see you see my brother donned this on his thanksgiving dream coat year after year after year your Thanksgiving dream coat wouldn't be complete without the Misfits patch. Most dream coats come with this patch already soon on, but just in case, make sure you have one on yours. Yeah, you know, his his would a hand me down. The tradable patch. After everyone's eaten their Thanksgiving meal, it's time for one of America's most celebrated Thanksgiving traditions, the patch trade. Make sure you have the tradable patch on your Thanksgiving dream coat this year so you can swap patches with someone else and participate in this beloved American ritual. And last but not least, the green patch, my personal favorite. Wow, the green patch. Possibly the best patch. This one is green. If you wear the green patch, your relatives will say grace to you instead of their god. That is the power of the green patch. Do not abuse it. You know, and that's why I love it. Because I have a god complex. Alright guys, well... I'm gonna end this one here. Let me know what patches you have. Let me know what kind of Thanksgiving traditions you have. If you take the quiz, let me know what you got in the quiz. Maybe you're more thankful than I am. You know, I just... That Thanksgiving amnesia. It got me. It got me good. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Happy Thanksgiving. And I will see you next Thanksgiving. What is that?